Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I just finished an Amelia journal that needs picking, but um, I'm sure I'll have it picked before it goes to its forever home. Um, I normally fray, but I didn't get round to fraying it. But anyway, this is an Amelia journal, and um, I used a lot of my own ephemera as well in this. Um, this is a cutie, and I quite love it. Um, they stand up beautifully on your dressing table. It's a bit hard to stand it up on here because I've got bumps and I've got stuff underneath that. But anyway, this is my Amelia journal. I left that blank because I thought the buyer should have something to put for herself there. Since it's her journal, you've got to allow them a little bit of room. But this is just gorgeous and I really didn't want to cover it up anyway. But I thought I'd leave it like that and she can decide for herself what she wants to put there. It's a lot of ephemera um, and pockets. That should be in there, actually. And there's a picture there in case she wants to put the picture there. Because this is little Amelia journal. So it'd go nicely there, but I thought I'd leave it to her. She might have a picture that she might want to use. But this is little Amelia again, and um, again, that needs fraying, um, which is easy enough to do. I just haven't done it. Um, I just love, this is um, an envelope that I've just collaged lightly. Um, and there you'll see a bit of multi-medium and I love the look of it. Um, it's nice, it's shiny, and it makes for, for a great journal page. Um, I've got it some there too. There's tabs in there. I've turned um, an envelope into a double journaling um, tab to create this effect. And again, using vintage photos. I just love using vintage photos in my journals. Um, I love playing with vintage and ephemera. There's a journaling card in here. Now, what have I done? I hope I haven't stuck it to it. Because that's not supposed to happen. No, it's not. Like I said, you know, I um, see I've created a lot of um, dimension with multimedia mat. And I love it. It just adds to the journal. This is a boho bead. Again, another tuck there with another pretty lady in there. A vintage car. Again, that multi-medium. It just comes up beautiful, but you just got to watch that it dries completely because it can get sticky. Um, I just love it. I, I, I love the effects of it. Um, and that's on there too. I've tried to keep this as um, distressed as possible because I love the distressed look. Whoops. I really love, love this piece of ephemera. Um, the kit's from Rainy Day Gypsy, by the way, but there's also my own ephemera in here. My own... Um, Types of bits of ephemera. Um, I folded a lot of a lot of my ephemera pieces and used them as tuck spots. And the ephemera is gorgeous that I've got. This is my own ephemera. Like I, said, I left room for the purchaser to move. Um, and in the centre, I actually put Amelia's parents' wedding day. I thought that would go down well. Um, collaged one of my vintage envelopes. Like I said, some of this is my own ephemera. So, um, I'll 
tuck in there. There's a tuck in there. And that flips out. But I've sewn down there. So I've got a tuck in there. And that's the infant looking the kit. Like I said, some stuff's my own. Tuck spot there. Isn't it gorgeous? Just love, love, love. Love playing with this sort of stuff. And again, using multi-medium. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous thing to play with. Again, another tuck spot there. And if you notice, I've actually sewed all around the ephemera so that you can find the pockets, the tucks, easy. And then there's multimedium there with the collage. Um, another tuck there. A bit of collage in a multimedium, which I enjoy doing. A vintage photo, again with a tuck, with a photo in there. I just love, love, love playing. Sorry, I had it all closed up, so I hope you've seen what I was doing. But yeah, there's a tuck in there. And I'm just going to make sure this is not a page stuck to another page. Um, let me see, let me see, what did I do? Because sometimes you just don't know. No, that's a, that's a tuck. A tuck with a photo. And there's something else in there, I think. I think. I think. Yep. Another gelling card. So it's a cutie. And I'll just layered laces throughout the journal. I just love it. I, I just love the effects. I left that plain, but it's got multi-medium and some lace. Another tuck there. Vintage lace throughout. Another thing, and that's the grandparents' wedding day. I just thought Amelia should have a family, and that's her siblings. But that's my little Amelia. And um, that's the cover. And, and Amelia is quite cute. Like I said, that's her parents' wedding day. I just thought Amelia should have a family. Her aunt's in there. But I hope you like it. Um, I love doing these type of journals. They're just cute. They stand on your dressing table quite elegantly. I can't stand it here because I've got bumps. <laughs> I had to hide them. I had to hide. But anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time. Yeah.